Have a nice day, students. Today we discuss about the cell wall. Cell wall is the outermost layer in the plant cell. It made up of cellulose. This is the outermost layer in the case of plant cell. Plant cells generally they are the rectangular in shape. They having the outermost layer we call them cell wall. It is dead and rigid layer. In case of plants, it made up of cellulose. Cellulose is the polymers of glucose or carbohydrate. Cell wall is rigid. Rigid means it cannot split or it cannot stretch. Strong, thick. and non living in the case of cell wall it is fully permeable it means it allow the all molecules pass through it it doesn't produce any barricades or barrier to transport the water and minerals from inside to outside the cell as well as outside to inside the molecules it means it allow the whole molecules to movement so we call it the permeable membrane now we discuss about the cell wall in various organism first of all cell wall present in plant cell plant cell it is made up of cellulose and the substance which is deposited on it we call them pectin and lignin now in the case of fungi this cell wall is made up of chitin chitin is also polysaccharide in the case of bacteria bacteria also having the cell wall bacteria are the prokaryotic living beings prokaryotic living beings they having the cell wall which is made up of mucopolypeptide the functions of cell wall first first of all it provide the definite shape of the plant body second one it is provide the mechanical support as well as strength to the cell it is fully permeable so it allow the all molecules pass to through it so it is a permeable membrane in the case of plant cell the two cells are connected two plant cells are connected this is the two plant cell wall this is the one cell wall one another cell having the cell wall we call them cell wall number 2 these two cell walls are connected through a structure these structures are made up of microtubules and microfilaments these tubules like structures are known as the plasmodesmata we call them plasmodesmata plasmodesmata are the connection between two plant cell wall and the membrane which is present between two cell wall or the structure which is present between two cell wall this structure is known as the middle lamella this middle lamella is responsible to bind up the to both the cell wall and this structure is known as the middle lamella it made up of calcium and magnesium packed middle lamella now what is the role of pectin in the cell wall the pectin is the substance which responsible for the joining of two cell wall just like a plant cell cement we discuss about the another structure we call it the nucleus nucleus it was first time reported by robert brown in 1831 in the case of plant cell the nucleus is present in the peripheral region see the plant cell 
The position of the nucleus in the case of plant cell is peripheral, while in the case of animal cell, its position is central. This is the position of nucleus in the case of plant cell. This nucleus, this position is known as the peripheral nucleus. In the case of animal cell, this is the animal cell and nucleus is present in the center of the cell. So this is the central in position. In case of animal cell. Now, the number of cells are variable in the plants or animals. The cell, normally, the having the one nucleus in the cell in case of plants and animals but in some living beings they are two in number two nucleus are present for example paramecium paramecium having the two nucleus in the structure we call them one of them is micronucleus and another is the macronucleus. In the case of some fungi, the mycelium is also dikaryotic. Dikaryotic it means two nucleus. It means two nucleus. The some cells are without nucleus, for example, RBCs, C tubes of Phloem in case of plant cell, they are the without nucleus. In case of RBCs, the mammalian RBCs are without nucleus. Mammalian RBCs. Mammalian RBCs having the nucleus at the formation stage, but later on it become degenerated. Now, the study of nucleus is called the karyology. On the basis of composition of nucleus, the living beings are divided in two groups. First one is we call them prokaryotes. On the basis of composition, the living beings are two types. One of them is the prokaryote. Pro it means primitive, karyote it means nucleus. The organisms which are having the primitive nucleus, we call them prokaryotes. Primitive. Example, bacteria and cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria it means blue-green algae. These are the prokaryotes. Second one is the eukaryotes. U it means advanced karyote, it means nucleus. The cells which having the advanced nucleus, we call them eukaryotic living beings. Advanced. Karyotic it means nucleus. Example, all plants and animal cells. Now, we discuss about the structure of nucleus in the case of animal cell and plant cell. So basically, the nucleus structure is common in all the living beings in the case of eukaryotes. So, the eukaryotes having the double membrane bounded structure, it having the two membranes. The nucleus is the responsible for the control and coordination of all the cell in the body. Each Each cell having generally one nucleus and this nucleus is responsible for the control and coordination the, all the metabolic activities of the cell. So this is the membrane, we call them nuclear membrane. Nuclear membrane is made up of two membranes. It made up of basically protein and lipid. The space be present between two nuclear membranes, we call it the nuclear pore. This nuclear pore is the responsible for the transportation of material from cytoplasm to the nucleus and nucleoplasm and nucleoplasm to the cytoplasm. The liquid which is present inside the nucleus is called the nucleoplasm. 
the liquid which is present inside the nucleus we call them nucleoplasm. Another material, we call it the chromatin material. The thread-like structure, the made up of the uh, chromosomes, these structures form a highly coiled structure. This coiled structure is known as the chromatin material. This chromatin material contains the DNA and these DNA molecules are responsible for the hereditary information transfer from one generation to another generation. So this chromatin material contains the DNA molecules. Now another structure also present in the case of nucleus. This is the membraneless structure. We call them nucleus. It is membraneless structure. It having no membrane in the structure. We call it nucleus. The role of nucleus in this nucleus is responsible for formation of ribosomes. So they are known as the ribosomes factory. So this is the structure of nucleus. So nucleus basically present in all the living cells and its main function in case of the all living cells first control and coordination between all the metabolic activity of the cell cell perform various metabolic activity which are regulated by the nucleus another one function is that is the it is responsible for the transmission of heredity information from generation to generation. How is it responsible for this function? Because nucleus contains the DNA molecules. DNA present in the form of chromosomes. DNA molecules are made up of nucleotides. These nucleotides are present in the DNA and these nucleotides are from the genes or we can call them fragments of the DNA are called genes. These DNA molecules or fragments of the DNA are called the genes and genes are the responsible for transmission of character from one generation to another generation. In the case of nucleoplasm, the liquid which is present inside the cell we call it the nucleoplasm. The all the activities which present we have, uh, or which occur inside the nucleus in the nucleoplasm. Example, DNA replication. Replication it means formation of DNA from old DNA. Replication is the process in which DNA form the new DNA copy. We call it replication. It occur in the nucleoplasm. It present inside the nucleus DNA form new DNA. Another mechanism we call them transcription. Transcription form transcription from the RNA molecules from DNA. This event also occurs in the case of nucleus in the advanced living beings. In the case of prokaryotic living beings, where the nucleus, true nucleus are absent, the true nucleus is absent. In this case, the DNA replication and transcription occur in the cytoplasm. 